Look up a DVD player to a Comcast cable box. Televisions are one of the main sources of entertainment in our homes. This box of glass, plastic, and circuitry has gone a long way from what it could deliver before. With Comcast's cable service, you can choose channels from different countries. You can watch a ton of different shows under different networks. Or, you can reminisce with favorite movies when it suits your mood. These can be done with the help of DVD players, and a copy of your favorite movies. The bother of switching from a cable box to a DVD player can be somewhat of a chore. To solve this, all you have to do is connect the two devices, so you don't have to get up and transfer the cords from one device to the other, when you decide to switch from cable to DVD. Here are the steps on how to hook up a DVD player to a Comcast cable box. Know the layout. Turn everything off. Check your setup first. Your cable service is a cable that connects to the cable box from a jack in the wall. The cable box connects to the television. The DVD player is also another device that connects to the television. Your cable box is an output device. This means that the signal from the cable company goes through the cable box and to your television. Your television is your input device. It accepts the signal from the cable box, and translates into the display on the screen and the sounds from the speakers. See if it fits. Look at the connectors on the back of your Comcast cable box. See if it allows you to connect your DVD player to it. Look for the input and output slots on your cable box. There must be corresponding outlets on your DVD player. Look at the cord that connects the DVD player to an input device. There should be three cords the video, left channel, and right channel feeds. Check the cord ends to see if they fit. If they don't, it may mean that you need a different type of Comcast cable box. Connect. Line up the cords to their respective outlets. The yellow-ended cord signifies the video feed. The other two cables are for the audio feed. The left audio cord is colored white. The right audio cord is colored red. Plug the cords to their corresponding jacks on the DVD player and the cable box. Test make sure the connections are secure. Power up the television set, the DVD player and the cable box. Look for the input slash TV slash VCR on your Comcast remote. Use this button to switch the input. Scroll through the DVD and cable input. A logo should be displayed on the screen, when the DVD player is selected. 
That's all you need to hook up your DVD player to a Comcast cable box. Later on, if you decide to connect your gaming console to your cable box, you can follow the same steps. Go on and enjoy the convenience of not having to change the cables every time you want to use a different appliance with your television.